Have you visited Wynwood in Miami? If you haven't, this is a very cute, artsy town. Must visit. We took the Brightline train down to Miami and got the complimentary shuttle over to Wynwood. I believe within a five mile radius of the Brightline station, the shuttles are complimentary. I'm not sure of in every city, but I know it was down here. So we are off to Wynwood. Wynwood is a city into Miami and it's known for being an entertainment district with tons of artwork, beautiful murals everywhere. The streets are lined with restaurants, breweries, clothing stores and the ever popular Wynwood Walls where we will be visiting here shortly. We visited Wynwood with friends and family. This was their first time. For Charles and I, we had been several times before. When we lived in Hollywood, we went to Wynwood several times, but always at night. This is midday on a Sunday and it's really quiet. We are surprised how quiet the streets are, but I guess everybody's recovering from the Saturday night. We started off low key as well with these low key vibes down here. We were just wandering around kind of like people watching and looking for a, a place to eat. We weren't sure yet exactly what type of food we wanted. So we were kind of like just hanging around the streets for a little bit. We heard from somebody that this pole here is created by a guy who comes by every day and adds to the art on here. We are now on a hunt looking for the restaurant, the Dirty Burger. I think our GPS send us up and down a few wrong streets, but that's okay because everything is so colorful and we're fine with exploring. And look at this flower. I don't know what type of tree this is, but the flower is so unusual. Do you know what this is? Here's a taco place and a few other restaurants, but everything seems to be closed. I guess we're just too early for Sunday lunch. We're looking for the dirty burger. We did find the dirty rabbit. But everything down here seems dirty. Time to drink mojito. It's beautiful. <laughs> and here's more dirty rabbit. Really? No dirty burger. The juice just like into the train station at Georgia Juice. So there's the Wynwood Fair over there, see? Since we didn't find the Dirty Burger, we headed on over to Wynwood Marketplace. Wynwood Marketplace is right into the heart of Wynwood. And there's different like food trucks, so we decided that everybody could decide whatever food they wanted to eat. There's apparently a seating place in the middle where you can hang out with friends and so. So we thought this would be a good place to get together and especially with a variety of food because some of us want Spanish food, some of us want pizza. What's really cool in here in the marketplace is the way they repurpose the uh, shipping containers. Like everything is built out of shipping containers and you don't even realize it. So it's, it's really, really neat. You have to visit this place. The first restaurant, the deck, is really big. There's a lot of seating space in here. 
and it was really quiet when we got there but before we left there were quite a few parties gathering and it's a great place to like celebrate birthdays and there's also a play area in the back so if you come with your kids there's something for the kids and something for the grown-ups Here is a better view of the repurposed containers. You can see they're used for the stage, they're used for sitting area, they're used for the kitchen and restaurants, they're in the play area, and they're beautiful because they're all covered with art. So this is so unique. This bar, the pink, is so cute because it's built out of a bus. And this is what we were looking for, some Spanish food, some empanadas and arepas. The price is right, and I have to tell you that these empanadas were absolutely delicious. They were the corn shell, like the Colombians make them, and they were so yummy. A lot of the little shops and boutiques were still closed. I guess it was still too early, but they were so cute, the ones that were open and even the ones that were closed. Look at the artwork. So it's, it's like going to a museum everywhere in Wynwood. This building is so funny. Look at the silhouettes into the window. How creative is that? We now need to work off those empanadas, so we are heading on up now to go visit Wynwood Walls. Easy. Oh my gosh. We are visiting in February, so the temperature is good. If it was in July, we would probably prefer to come in the evening because I'm sure it would be pretty steamy in the middle of the day. In here, Windward Wall. Yeah. Entrance to Wynwood Walls used to be free, but now tickets are $12 a person, which is still a really good rate, especially when you're into Miami. And to be able to see art from artists from all over the world, street artists from all over the world, so $12 is really a good price for this. Purchasing tickets and getting in is really easy. There's a lot of little kiosks you can buy your tickets at. And although it was pretty busy when we got there, we were like in in probably like five minutes. So it's a really easy process. And during the week, I'm sure it's much easier. Follow us for a tour. Looks very classy. Winwood Walls was founded by Tony Goldman, and the opening was with Art Basel back in 2009. I like that dream sign. It's 
So Windward, Windward Walls used to be free admission, but now it's $12 a person admission. There's also tours as well. We just took the general admission and it was 12 bucks. You can visit Wynwood every year and see different art because the art changes every year. This is like so interesting. The artists come from all over. They are not paid to create these murals and the murals are protected with a, a clear coat to protect them from the sun. So the colors stay so vibrant. So it's always so interesting. Every time we have been here, there's all different art. Cutting edge murals created by respected street artists from Asia, Europe, Latin America, and the United States. Wynwood Walls was established in 2009 by the legendary Tony Goldman of Goldman Properties as an outdoor museum of international street art. Please download the official Wynwood Walls app to find out more information about the history of the Wynwood Walls, the artists behind each mural concept, and our latest news and releases. We have complimentary Wi-Fi at the Wynwood Walls. parents used to eat these saltines. It was one of the few crackers we could get in Sable. just loving all these motivational sayings and this art is so creative I would love to take home the gratitude one but for sure this art is not RV friendly oh, I love this one. Windward Wall sits on one and a half acres. You need to give yourself several hours to take this tour to be able to enjoy all the artwork inside and the outdoor murals. Although we visited on a weekend in high season, it's very spacious. And if you wait your turn, you can take photos with the murals behind you without a problem. This artist, Bardalo from Portugal, uses street garbage to create his sculptures and an effort to help the pollution in the world. So this is really, really super cool art. This 
grandfather who is the one that brought him into the art world. Oh wow. And he experimented with a lot of different forms of arts. Let's head inside for a tour now. And we love to shear. So much talent in one place. I can barely draw a stick figure. So I am super impressed with all this art. I was thinking of getting this one, it's only 42,000, but you know what? It's not RV friendly. That's like my only drawback. Look at the art on the outside of the building. It's like a type of plaster it's created out of. Selfies are encouraged. The Wynwood Walls has been designated the world's most Instagram hotspot. Truly artists from all over the world. It's hard to pick a favorite, but this one is one of my favorites. It's so incredible. And you exit the Wynwood Walls Museum through the gift store so you can pick up your souvenirs so that you will not forget this memorable day.
We continued exploring Wynwood and came upon this store, Wynwood Tribe. This is so cute. Follow us inside for a tour to see what unique items they have in this store. Super, super cool. Lots of art inspired clothing in here. We found a rooftop, but we can't figure out how to get in. This one is the moon. We can see you up there. We need a ladder. Ah, found it. Rooftop garden. Uh, he said it was a pink building. I thought he was right. Yes. <laughs> We got to Astra rooftop probably about 3 or uh, 3.30 and they were serving brunch. So everything today got a really late start into the Wynwood area. This beer is delicious and it's from the local Wynwood Brewery. If you live in the Treasure Coast and you're looking for something to do on a Sunday, follow the adventures of CNC. We hopped on the Brightline train this morning, came down to Miami, we Ubered over to Wynwood Walls, we took a tour, and now we're enjoying some drinks from a rooftop with a view of Miami. Follow the adventures of CNC. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will not miss our weekly videos and plan your trip to Winwood.